Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of A Truck Driver Plays American Truck Simulator. So, guys, what's going on out there? How y'all doing? I hope y'all are having a nice holiday weekend. And I know this video will come out after the holiday weekend, but I'm actually recording it on the holiday weekend. So, I uh, hope you guys had. There we go. How about that? Hope you guys had a nice holiday weekend. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so today we're going to jump right into it. We are still using the Walmart transportation mod that I created. And uh, I'm going to try to make it available soon, really soon, um, because I'm just right now I'm just testing it. I'm, I'm trying to work out a couple of things, trying to see where it can be improved. I mean, it's I think it's already decent. So, I mean, you know, right now, I, right now, I think it's it's pretty much good enough to release but uh you know if you guys want it you know so uh, anyway as you can see i also got a new truck i we ahead and got the uh freight liner classic xl so i wanted to try that out i wanted to see how that does so but yeah so anyway guys let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get my trailer be right here at walmart we're gonna go ahead and get our trailer the gears are a little bit different in this one, so. Oh, I don't even have the brakes on. And if you can't, guys can't tell, the game does look a little bit better because I, I kind of fixed it and got everything situated. I know the last time I recorded, I was having some problems and it, I don't know, it just didn't look right to me. But I am using the graphics mod. I'm using the uh, realistic, brutal weather mod so i'll try to link that in the description below and here goes our trailer yeah check out our trailer right here hold on we'll get a closer look at that one got a reefer unit oh. i'm way off hold on let me get up under it so we're going to be, I think, like I said, it's a load of frozen. No, actually, it's a combo load. And I'm going to let me break down what a combo load is. If I haven't already did it, I know I explained a little bit in the last video. So let me just grab my trailer right here. There we go. Let's see. And let's pull out. And that is close. Okay. So I don't think we're going to be able to make that turn. Hold on. Let me see if I can get up here and pop a U-turn real quick. Come on. I know this truck is kind of big, so I don't think I'm going to be able to just pop a U-turn. Yeah, uh, I ain't think so. All right, let's see here if I can get turned around real quick because I couldn't just pull straight out because it was a little bit too close. And I don't think there's nothing coming, so we'll just get pulled up out here so we can take a look at everything. So we can take a look at the new trailer. You can already see it in the rear view right there. So we pull out right here so we can get paperwork and stuff done and do the pre-trip and stuff. There we go. <laughs> All right, so here goes the new trailer. Oh, can you guys see it? 
All right, that's a neat trailer. It's a little something different. I can't get the. It's like a fruit shelf. Okay, produce shelf. All right. Take a look at that right there. I can't because the bushes are all in the way. What do you got? Oh, let's get closer and see if that'll do it. There it go. That's a little better. Well, we're inside of it now. All right. There you go. All right, so there we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and, uh, cause I think I said we were going to Toledo, Ohio, I think. Yeah, there it is. So this, okay, so frozen, perishable, and dry goods. This is what we call a combo truck. So pretty much, if you don't already know how, th how this works, so right up here in the nose, and the nose right there would be like your frozen food products, you know, anything frozen. Then in the middle, the middle, that'll be a perishable, which is like your meat, your produce, you know, anything, anything that needs to be refrigerated but not frozen will go right there in the center. Then in the back, that right there is where your dry grocery will go, you know, it. Pretty much anything that don't need to be refrigerated, like your canned goods, you know, potato chips, sodas, elect, anything would go right there in the back. So that's a combo truck. That's what we call them. And like I said, if you don't know how that works is there's uh, some people call it a curtain. We, you know, I call it a bulkhead. You take the bulk as a bulkhead in the back of the trailer you take it you drop it like when you load your frozen you take the curtain or the bulkhead you drop it drop it down and place it you know place it down then see it keeps the frozen frozen and that's what separates and that's how to dip it that's how you can get different temperatures and stuff so you drop the bulkhead and then that's when you load your meat and your produce in the refrigerated section um because there's actually uh there'll be like I want to say there'll be two, actually two reefer units on the trailer. The one in the front and then the one, in, and then there'll be, well, the one in the front controls it, but there'll be another one in the center. And then uh, on the reefer itself, on the actual unit, you can, uh, you know, set the temperature for each section. So, well, actually it's probably like three, but. Most time you only need two for the frozen and for refrigerated. And I know some of y'all thinking, hey, well, some produce don't need to be refrigerated. Yeah. For the company I work for, it don't matter. It don't matter if it's an apple or if it's produce, it's got to be refrigerated at at least uh, 38 degrees. And the frozen stuff, it has to be negative 10 so, but anyway, guys, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and head up to Toledo. Let's see what we're going on. Let's see how these uh, the new graphics and stuff works. I don't know. Hopefully, it worked better than it did last time. Okay, okay, no. And I hit the wrong button again. We don't need the GPS right now because, well, and I don't think I can. Uh, see, that's what I didn't want to hit right there. I did not want to hit that. All right, so hold on. I'm going to figure it out, y'all. Don't worry. Oh, there you go. F3. Okay. Yeah, it seemed easy enough. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get on the road. Uh, damn, took away the GPS, so I don't know what time it is. So I'm guessing it's about 5 o'clock, uh, 6. Sun's coming up, so... We know it's daylight. Let's see, it's going like I said. The gears are a little bit different in this one. This is one of the ones that's got the uh, one high and one low and all that stuff. So, all 
I don't think I need to really toggle between high and low and because I'm not sure of how heavy the load is. I know it's pretty heavy, but. That light was yellow. No, that's not it right there. Okay. All right. And another thing about this truck, if you've downloaded this truck, then you'll know this ain't the steering wheel that comes like with the mod. But this is the actual steering wheel that kind of goes with this truck. Is this type right here. Or the ones I've seen. Now, I don't know. Like the steering wheel that comes with this truck, it, it could be the right one. But the ones, the Freightliner Classics I've seen and been inside of, it always had this steering wheel right here. Don't, I mean, this truck, it dry, but the truck drives smooth itself. It's pretty good mod. I just don't, the, the engine is not loud. That's the only thing I'm having a problem with out of it. Oh, yep. Yep, Atlanta, Atlanta traffic. Yep, this is about, about right. Oh, I didn't beat that light. Nope. All right, so, and we are using the uh, realistic economy. So we got to kind of take it easy when it comes to running the light and speeding tickets and stuff. Because it'll get to a point where I ain't making no money. I knew somebody was beside me. on the barrier a little bit back here. Hmm, I dropped my steering wheel down a little bit. I think I got it up a little too high. I barely see anything. Let me hurry up for this car get up here because I got to turn off up here. Might have to let the steering wheel down a little bit because it gets to points where I can't see nothing. Guess we stay right over here then. So 
look, see right there, I can't see anything. <laughs> I might have to let my steering wheel down a little bit. It's a little too high. Swap over to this middle lane. So the thing is, when I first like got into truck driving and went to truck driving school, I think I've already told you guys the first one I went to was CR England, their truck driving school. And uh, when I got up there, I noticed like it was a lot of these like Freightliner classics. They had a lot of them up there. And since they were kind of bamboozled me, pretty much, they pretty much was like, you know, they wasn't hiring company drivers, but I could lease a truck. I was like, yeah, I want to lease the Freightliner Classic. That's the one I'm going to get when I finish. Because I just like the look of the Freightliner Classic. It looked like the old trucks. So, and plus, if you've been watching this channel, you already know I like older trucks anyway. So, so and uh, I was reading this mod description, and I think this is a John Ruder truck. I mean, you know, like I said, I've, I've never really, like, purchased a truck from John Ruder, but I've seen, like, YouTube, you know, I've seen YouTube videos where where people were using his trucks and uh, John Ruder do his thing when it comes to trucks I think that's why this one is so good now I don't know if somebody you know bought it from him and then put it on a different mod site or something like it but but his but in the description it had credits to him so I think we boggling down we ain't going over 65 but yeah, that little story, I was just telling y'all why I chose to get the, try out the Freightliner Classic. That's why. Everybody just slowed down on the hill. Tell me that ain't real life right there. Everybody does that. Want to slow down on the hill when I'm trying to power through the hill so I can pull it. All right. Uh yeah, guys, hold on for a second. I'm going I'm to fix this steering wheel. I don't like it right there because I can't see anything. All right, I think that's a little bit better. It's kind of a big steering wheel, so I might have to let it down a little bit more. Uh, uh, uh. 
I was getting ready to jump over that station wagon was right there in, in the way. And oh yeah, the game is running it's running a lot better than what it did last video. It just did not run right right at all. And I'm sorry for putting that video out there. But it's running a lot better. Now I want to try the JBX graphics. I think that's the name of it, the JBX graphics. So I'm gonna try that too. Uh-oh, we might be a little bit heavy. Okay, we boggling down a little bit. But it ain't doing bad because I only got the uh, 515 horsepower engine in it, so. Oh, somebody got a drop top cruising along, okay. Knoxville. All right. And I'm using the real cabin suspension too, so it, that might be <laughs> why the stereo keeps getting in my way too, because it's kind of moving. Kingsport. Damn, without the GPS, I don't even know what the speed limit is. I figure we keep it about 75. Like I said, we got to cool it with all the violations, the speeding and the red lights. That realistic economy mod is hard. It is hard, hard. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. All right. Let's see where we got to be turning off here. We might not be. No, 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 no. Turn off there. Turn off at the next one. I think it is. Get one more gear. Gotta get one more. There we go.
All right, so what's going on here? Why we all bunched up? Welcome to Kentucky. Uh-oh. Slowing down. We're boggling down. Oh, is Home Depot coming back past me? Really? Come on, Home Depot, give it up. Uh oh, Home Depot ain't giving up. Okay. Okay, all right, so we're going to get over because we guess we're a little bit heavy. We ain't pulling heels like we should be. Uh-oh. Like we'd have ran into some lag somewhere. All right, let me see if I can pass this car this time because I can't pass him.
All right. See, we got some road work up ahead. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it me or is it kind of cloudy? Did it get overcasted? Did I go to Home Depot again? What's going on here? Whoa, 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 whoa. That just came out of nowhere. There was no warning at all on that one. No sense closing down the whole road. That's what happened right there. Oh, oh, that's a bad one right there.
Oh, no, can't get over there. I ain't ready to pass him yet. No way. No, I got somebody in my blind spot over here. Yep, there it go. Finally. Took him forever to pass me. Let me see if I can get an outside shot for y'all. Why is it cloudy? There we go, a little outside shot. I can't get over now. I got uh, somebody in my rear view over here. Oh. We on fuel. Yep, we got a half a tank of fuel, so we good. Seen that gas station? I was like, yeah. Let me look down at the fuel gauge real quick. Then I got somebody sitting over here in my blind spot again. He hit his brake. He his hit his brakes. Damn it! Man, he was brake checking the crap out of me.
Alright, we should almost be there. Up in Toledo. Oh, uh, yep, we're in Toledo. And we got some, uh, Oh, let that Jeep go on somewhere. Dang, playing all the time. I can see our England up in front of me. We gonna pull his heel? We ain't gonna make the light, I know that. You're too far back. Is anything coming? Oh, that truck is coming. I know. We just gonna go ahead and go. He didn't even stop. He just kept going. We are deep in Toledo. I thought it was going to be like right off the interstate. I didn't realize it was going to be way up in here. Check my map. What the? What is going on? Why are we? Are we almost there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we almost there. Damn. Deep up into the though. Know.
<sighs> yeah. Don't seem like we're going to ever get there, do it. Because, damn. Oh, here we go. Another red light. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to turn somewhere. Is that a turning lane over there? I think that's a turning lane. What's going on? Okay, I see now. Okay, now we have to steer. Yeah, that's right. So see the combo load would go to the store if my truck don't stop dying. Okay, so we at the Walmart store here. Let me like take a look. See what we got going on here. Okay. At the Super Center. Okay, so let's go ahead and deliver this right here. Oh, it's raining. I, it's been looking like it was going to rain all day, so. I guess it finally got here. I thought something was wrong with my game again. I'm like, yeah, what's wrong with the graphics now? All right. See if I can make this hard turn right here. This truck is kind of big. Pull up in the grass a little bit in the field here a little bit. Not much though. Whatever you gotta do to get the job done. What I say. All right, there we go. They'll take it there. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, well, all right, guys. So that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. You guys have a great day. <laughs>